All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Monday, April 29th. Uh, it is set by Brendan today. Let's see what Brendan has. Dr. John was his assistant for many cases. Well, we had uh, Dr. Watson recently in a crossword, and I think his first name was John Watson. So could it simply, I don't think it's going to be Sherlock. There has to be some trickery at play. Maybe a word for doctor or one of those abbreviations, maybe just simply DR. And John, of course, could be a toilet or a loo. Was his assistant for many cases. No. Not seeing it. Uh, let's try the downs. Ooh, this is long. Oh my goodness, this goes the whole... Oh, we have uh, four down clues that go all the way down, uh, but no acrosses go all the way. All right, Epiphany came as our smallest denomination financially declined. Okay, I think this is a simple uh, double definition where one is a plain definition a phrase that means you had an epiphany, you realized something, and then punningly that our smallest denomination, the penny, declined or dropped. So the penny dropped for me pretty quickly on that one. Let's try these other long ones totally. How to enter answer for this clue and the one before. I think totally maybe the straight definition and then punningly how to enter. I wonder if it is something to do with going all the way across the grid. Uh, I like these phrases ones. They're often, I think, a little bit easier just because the short words, there are not that many options for them, but I wonder if the two-letter word could be an, and th the three-letter might be a preposition like for, word, something, something, or something. Uh, no, let's go ahead to the next one that goes all the way. Oh, it's a 15 letter word, not so easy. How one's brought back to earth in field. Um, how one's brought back to earth. No, I'm not. So. Oh, could it be something in field? Could it be something to. Um, Decomposition, something like that. Um, no, I don't think that's the right number of letters. Um, yeah, no, not getting it. How about completely prone to face this way? Ah. <sighs> Another, oh, this one is for two, three, six. I wonder if it could be something, something to do with it being a down clue. So it's facing down, down to the ground, completely prone. Yeah. Or something, something, lie, something. But to face this way, I think, is going to refer to this crossword. Yeah, and I'm realizing the penny dropped is something to do with falling downwards. So maybe they're all refer referencing the fact that they're down clues in some way. Um... 
down to the completely prone. No, not seeing it. All right. Um, who are Dr. John? Uh, Sherlock does fit. I would put a K in the second position of four down. Indulge in free fall. Ah, yes, so I can think of a word with K in the second as part of risky diversion. Ah, so that's a very good hidden clue because risky diversion does describe it as well. I like that, a skydive. All right, so if it is Sherlock, Dr. John was his assistant for many cases. Maybe it's just simply a cryptic definition, but it doesn't seem that cryptic to me. What am I missing? All right, so this one now, totally how to enter answer this clue and the one before. Drop, drop something. Oh, oh, how about from top to bottom? Ah, yes, that would uh, indicate that it goes, <coughs> excuse me, all the way across the grid. Now, it does put a funny letter pattern for 10 across. Going back, identify old man as one of our ancestors. Um... Well, I was thinking of ape man, but I don't think it, because we have man in the clue, we wouldn't have man in the answer. Um, but I think it's going to be one of our early ancestors, hominid or something like that. Going back could be a word like P backwards. Um, are just that we reverse identify. Oh, um, identify ID old man. No, um, could it be SP? Otherwise, pff, must be a, a vowel, I think. No, not seeing it. Uh, how about overturn function of multinational organization? Well, overturn, I think, could be undo. Uh, a function, yeah, ah, yeah, so a function can be a do, a party of a multinational organization. So a UN do would fit that bill. All right, let me go back to the acrosses I skipped. Serious fear, leader in times, has something wrong with it. I'm thinking the definition is going to be has something wrong with it. Um, a serious fear, of course, could be a phobia, but leader in times surely is a T. Has something wrong with it? Miss something? Serious fear. What's another? Or maybe a word for serious? I don't think, though, in six letters you could have a synonym for serious and one for fear and the T for times to get has something wrong with it. No. How about getting behind wheel? with added energy. Oh, so I think it could be getting behind is the definition. Yeah, although behind, of course, could indicate wordplay, one word behind another, but I feel something for a wheel with added energy that we add an extra E to this word. Of course, getting behind might end in ing. 
Oh, how about uh, a word like zing? Uh, couldn't that mean added energy? Getting behind... Um, and, oh, then a wheel. That's a four-letter word for a wheel beginning with D, a disc. <laughs> Getting behind disc. Discount, discover. Getting behind, maybe it could be discovering, uncovering. Uh, no, not seeing it. Warrant for admission is missing from home inspection. Oh, what's a warrant for admission? Um, the police show up, they've got a uh, search warrant. Uh, yeah, a pass of some kind. But something is missing from home, maybe. Inspection. Nope. Ooh, here's a ah, garden shrubs are tri elms for a change. All right, so I think it's going to be an anagram for tri elms, and it's going to be some garden shrubs. Is the S going to be at the end? Let me try putting in the S there, and let's see. Oops, uh, try. Elms, Milters, oh, Myrtles, of course, yeah, we uh, get a lot of crepe Myrtles this way. All right, um, that just gives us an E, not very helpful. Do some artwork in the blue, lacking detail. Uh, something like sketch, do some artwork. No. Testing periods as result of strange absorption. All right, absorption has 10 letters, so I think it's going to be an anagram of that. And since it is a plural, I'm going to again take my chances and put the S at the end. All right, testing periods. Oh, probations, yeah. All righty. I was thinking it was going to be laboratory testing periods, so there we go. Uh, let's carry on with the acrosses. We're nearly at the end. Start of spectrum initially rearranged for rave up. Huh. Start of... That's so funny that we have start of spectrum could be the starting letter, but then also initially uh, but I wonder, hmm, start of, I mean, the start of the spectrum, you could say is red. Uh, but then red plus initially rearranged the R. And even, I don't think there's an anagram of D-E-R-R. -R. Um, what's a rave up? Uh, a bash, maybe? A uh, No, not uh, seeing it. Unable to face house or pad guest trashed. Ooh, could this be an anagram of pad guest? And which is eight letters, and we have a P and a T. But what is unable to face house? 
Well, could that be the House of Commons? Is there a term? Yeah, I'm not. Uh, let's try it. The anagram helper has worked twice today. Unable to face house. It would have to be, I think, SP. Otherwise, uh, a vowel. Well, it could be up. Oh, upstaged. Yeah. Now, I'm not exactly sure how the definition works. I know the house, I suppose, is the, the audience, right? So unable to face them. But I thought if, if you're upstaged, you're still facing them. There's just somebody behind you, and because the, if it's my memory, the stage is sloped, so somebody behind you is upstage, and they might take away attention from you, is that it? Or something like that. Anyway, we'll see what uh, 15 squared has to say about the matter. All right, be tediously persistent as battle axe. Well, the obvious word, I suppose, would be something to do with nag, to be tediously persistent. But I wonder if it's um, something to do with a weapon, a battle axe. Is there some other name or a specific type? Be tediously persistent, something about bore, maybe? Um, I wonder, too, if the as is important. We sometimes see that. All right, artist in relation to one of his colors. Okay, is it going to be an artist's name? Artist in relation. R.A., of course, can be an artist. And I wonder if you, well, no, I don't think we're going to, I was thinking put it inside a word for a relation. And you get one of his colors. Uh, what is a color that's something E, something O? I'm going to pause and think about that. Uh, yes. I ran through the alphabet and I got as far as R and I thought of Renoir and of course in relation to could mean regarding which is going to be re and one of his colors would be black in French noir so it is Renoir all right I like that one outfit starts off game at rock bottom Um, we have a G. Could that just come from starts off game, the beginning? Although starts off could also mean you lose the first letter. Outfit starts off, and then I'm also thinking of garment, but at rock bottom. Rock bottom could be the K. Outfit. Well, that could be something you wear, or a gang, an outfit, or to fit something up, like uh, a house to outfit it, or a boat. Um, outfit. Let me see what words fit this pattern. There can't be too many. Ah, I should have realized it's important that it starts off so it's not just the g from game it's the starts off all these four words g a r b and so your garb might be your 
outfit, of course. All right, let's work backwards through the downs. Uh, inside, story, appropriately placed, doubly so. Oh my goodness. Um, that is a tricky one. I think that's one you have to think of the word and then work backwards to see why it might be doubly so. Unless it's two words for so, like then, or... Um, are very, so big, very big. Um, maybe it means inside story. Inside story. Um, no, not thinking of it. Has a wee dram, replaces ball on course. Oh, well, in golf, if your ball is hit into the rough, you can take a drop by dropping it into the fairway. I think it costs you one shot to do that. So I think this is takes, takes a drop, has a wee dram, yep. All right. Uh, oh, now we're complete. Oh, yeah, of course, because we have these very long downs, there are a lot fewer down clues than normal. Uh, let's skip over that one and that one. Performer at the top. Are scoundrels rising to it? Well, the first word I thought of for a performer at the top is a star which is rats backwards, which could be scoundrels rising. Yeah, I like that. Now I'd connect somehow with another one falling at the same time. Oh, well, I'm thinking of a word that means things that happen at the same time. And I think it's going to be an anagram of I'd connect if I'm right, I think coincident, I mean, it's a foot, we mainly think of coincidence, but two things could be coinciding, coincident. I think that's right. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing well on the left-hand side, but not so well on the right. But let's finish off this I think I'm going to put in Ape Man. Oops. And even though I usually like to wait until the 30 minute mark before I check things, I'm going to check this one. It is correct. I find that very unusual that part of the answer man appears in the clue. Going back. Uh, so the word name goes backwards, uh, which can mean identify. And the old man is your father. I think they could have come up with a better term, a better way of cluing pa rather than old man. Yeah, I th anyway, who am I to say? All right. Um, serious fear. Leader in times has something wrong with it. I'm wondering if something could be like trauma. No, not, not quite seeing it. Now we're getting behind the wheel with added energy. Yeah, I'm thinking it must be, oh, it could be getting, I suppose. Oh, ah, yeah, so actually, um, the definition is getting. And once I thought of that and looked at D something R, I thought of deriving. And I realized, of course, if you're behind the wheel, you're driving, but with that extra E for energy, you're dry, uh, deriving. That's a tricky one. 
Now our warrant for admission is missing from home. Oh, a warrant for admission could be an invitation. Maybe. Um, let's put it in and see if we can work out the wordplay. Is missing. So that could be literally I and S is missing from home inspection. Oh, uh, yeah. So I think home can be simply in and an inspection, I think, could be a visitation. So if you put an is after the V, you get in visitation. Let's check it. It is correct. Ah, this, uh, well, sketch is still too short. Oh, how about, um, ah, funnily enough, the answer starts with sketch, but it's nothing to do with sketch. The artwork is etch, and it's in the blue is the sky, and something that is lacking detail is sketchy. That's one of those ones we sometimes see it where there's some fortunate coincidence between the word play, <coughs> excuse me, and the answer that leads you to get the answer in the, in the wrong way, um, which can sometimes confuse me to no end, try to work out why it's right, but I got that one. All right, so now this one, I am, yeah, I'm beginning to think it might be down, down to the, down to the, well, I thought it was down to the ground, or down to the bottom, completely prone. Down to the something, yeah, I'm not going to put in ground yet. Well, if that was a G, our start of spectrum initially rearranged for rave up. No, I'm not seeing it. Uh, oh, or be tediously persistent as battle axe. Ah, uh, drone, something to do with droning. Oh, um. Ah, yeah, I think if you, if you keep like droning, you might be, or something carries on too long, it drags on, and a battle axe could be described as a dragon. Again, I'm going to use the check this button, it is right. Uh, so now, ground might be right. Uh, let me try the check this button. It is correct. Yeah, so... I find that one a little weak. There's nothing really to, other than the clue is going downwards, face this way, but it's not really going down to the ground. I think there should have been something, even the straight definition, completely prone. I'm not sure about that one. All right. Um, how about our inside? Oh, I didn't get any more letters for that one. Oh, but let's try now our 15 letter word. Um, oh, I'm thinking it's going to be an I O N N, sorry, I O N A L L Y, how one's brought back to earth. It does seem like an adverb. Um, how one's brought back to earth in field. No, not seeing it. 
If it is that ending, then our start of spectrum initially rearranged. Oh, well, orgy would fit, and I suppose I could be a rave up. Not really, I think, but... Um, Oh, um, yeah, so the start of four of the colors, I think, um, Richard of York gave, yeah, the first four colors are rearranged, so I think that is right. Now, oh, I never looked at this one. How did, I think I was so excited about getting Renoir that uh, I missed it mistakenly download okay that must be an anagram of download it might contain old chestnuts so i think it's going to be some book or something with old jokes or christmas crackers maybe oh no i think it's uh, it really is old chestnut trees woodland Ah. ah, so I think we are going to maybe get another down inside story. Ah, yes, appropriately placed, doubly so. You get the low down, and this answer is a down clue, and it is low in the grid. So it is doubly appropriately placed. That's clever. Were there other uh, downs that I missed? Uh, well, takes a drop. Yeah, if I missed that one. Um, skydive, of course. Uh, what else am I missing? It's so hard to read the down ones, but... Uh, anyway, so again, yes, yeah, so a six down must be something about descending. Ah not seeing it it's just these two left uh, serious fear leader in times has something oh terror of course ah yeah the leader in the times is the t and something wrong is an error and serious fear is terror okay let me pause and think about what letter might go Oh, gravitationally. Ah, yes, and there's a gravitational field. Yeah, okay, so I didn't have to pause. That's great. Let's check it. It is correct. Uh, let's check all. All right. Well, I think that's one of my best performances, which must mean this is one of the easier ones we've had lately. Uh, and it was good fun, too. I enjoyed it just... One or two clues I uh, questioned, I suppose, like down to the ground and then ape man, I thought shouldn't have had man in the clue. But anyway, let's see what they say over on 15 squared. All right, today's blog is by Manehi. A nice puzzle. Um, of course, the downward movement. Yeah, and so Sherlock, there's nothing funny going on with it. Just Dr. John Watson. Um, Ape Man, yeah, Pad Dad. Um, yes, and is goes in in visitation. I don't think there's any really that I didn't follow why the answer was right. Um... And of course, there were fewer clues than usual, which probably helped as well. That's another reason I got through it so quickly, of course. Um, da, 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 da. Monday mode. Da, 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 da. Yes. So, oh yeah, of course, orgy uh, as a rave up anyway. Um, all right, well, not much more to say about that one, but it's always nice to have a quick one. Uh, uh, so thank you, as always, for watching, and have a great day.